Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 Nissan Leaf First Drive, more highlights, more prominent range. The second era of the world's top-of-the-line electric auto is better inside and out. Everything begins with a superior battery. Not a greater battery, since this one fits into an indistinguishable space under the seats from the one preceding it. However on account of advances in vitality thickness and battery science, the 2018 Nissan LEAF has packed 40 kilowatt hours into the space already taken up by 30 kilowatt hours. For reference, a kilowatt hour, or kWh, is equivalent to the vitality utilized by your 1000 watt hair dryer if it's left on for a hour. The quantity of kWhs measures up to the span of the gas tank on an electric auto, more kWh squares with more range. That implies the 2018 LEAF will go 150 miles on a charge. Most electric autos available make it a little more than 100 miles on a charge. At that point at the highest point of the class are two or three autos that go more than 200 miles, similar to the Chevy Bolt, which exists, and the Tesla Model 3, which doesn't, at any rate in no note for the numbers. Nissan says the 150-mile scope of the 2018 LEAF involves the blank area between bring-down range ofs and those range-topping fragment pioneers. Nissan trusts this implies a gold mine in deals. Notwithstanding a superior battery, Nissan redesigned the auto's energy inverter from 80 kilowatts to 110 kilowatts. That implies yield goes up to 147 strength an expansion of 37%, with top to work up 26% to a sampling pulling 236 pounds to foot so you have an extensively usable and possibly even a touch of exciting, perhaps, dash entertainer. At that point Nissan added innovation to the bundle. Among the new technobits, the organization appears to be most pleased with its discretionary ProPilot Assist, which it continued saying isn't an autopilot. ProPilot Assist is a hands-on driver help, illuminated one executive at the LEAF in production. It requires that you keep no less than one hand on the wheel. It is an emotionally supportive network and help framework. It isn't self-driving, regardless we require a driver. It's absolutely helping the driver. It's not driving. Got that? Is it an autopilot? No. It will control the auto on the off chance that it can distinguish two path lines and it will work the quickening agent and brake pedals for you. In any case, when ProPilot Assist is on, you need to squirm the directing wheel no less than at regular intervals or it begins beeping at you. On the off chance that you keep on ignoring it, it in the long run expect you've shown at least a bit of kindness assault and eases back to a stop with the crisis flashes on. Tesla in any event gives both of you minutes of without hands driving. Nissan appeared to be second most glad for the Leaf's new e-pedal component, standard on all models. It's basically a fourth driving mode, after typical, eco and B for braking. In the e-pedal mode the measure of regen is controlled by the amount you lift your foot off the quickening agent pedal. In principle, they say, you may never need to touch the brake pedal, which will make for less demanding driving. The new Leaf likewise gets a slicker new outside outline. That's what's known as a drifting roofline to finish everything in the V-movement layer grille in front. Inside, the dash is based on another 7-inch touchscreen, grasping the pattern toward iPad-like peculiarity of EV dashboards. You can get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and you can even get Amazon's Alexa to warm up the lodge before you go out on an icy day. Or then again get it done through your PDA with the Nissan Leaf application. Along these lines, remembering this, off I drove in another leaf to attempt everything out. In the first place thing I saw, and I mean ideal out of the parking area, was the expanded power and torque. This thing is quick, or if nothing else quicker than the last leaf. In all actuality, quick is relative in this piece of the electric auto showcase. Be that as it may, you will see it, as well. I should attempt a 060, I told the voices in my mind. But the condemned voices neglected to remind me and I can't reveal to you how much speedier is to 60 miles per hour too bad. I want to get another soon and give you a number. Nissan doesn't show one. The old or one got to 60 in around 10 seconds and I'd figure this current one's around 8 seconds to 60, no Tesla Model S, yet it'll escape its own specific manner. The directing is tremendously enhanced, as well. 
Nissan didn't specify it in the introduction I got already, yet the electric power directing has new programming and a 10% expansion and guiding to Warshan bar firmness, which makes for a shockingly more brisk feel, once more, by the measures of the class. The guiding segment itself just tilts a tad and doesn't telescope, which more likely than not been a type of cost cutting measure. I oversaw. Next thing I did was switch on ProPilot Assist, which I instantly chose to begin calling essentially, ProPilot Assist, without each one of those tops. Likewise with a great deal of these driver help frameworks you need to give it a while and utilize it in the way in which it was proposed before condemning. This one works best on an interstate with very much stamped, all around characterized paths. My first attempt was on a twisting street with ineffectively characterized paths. The painted lines on either side would sever all over and the splashy morning light and shadows made them difficult for the framework's camera to perceive. When I got on Highway 101 it was greatly improved. In any case, you need to keep a hand on the wheel constantly, so it's restricted in what it can do, at any rate contrasted with frameworks from Cadillac and Tesla. Additional time in the driver's seat will give me a chance to improve. The e-pedal works about as publicized. I've generally needed more control over regenerative braking, as far back as I utilized the lever actuated Regan on AC Propulsion's unique Honda Civic electric powertrain change around 25 years prior. This might be the nearest any maker has come to giving regenerative braking control over to the driver. The more you get off the pedal, the more the regenerative braking goes ahead. With only a tad of arranging, you can do your entire drive while never touching the brake pedal to connect with the customary water-driven brakes. You get longer dash, perhaps limitless, cushion life, and you get more out of each charge. Effectiveness. I found that I got precisely in a sense asserted 150 miles of range, in the wake of extrapolating a 52.2 mile drive and looking at the charge left in the battery. That was notwithstanding pounding the throttle a decent lot. So bravo, Nissan. The Leaf is the greatest offering electric auto ever and has been since it was the primary mass showcase F propelled, route in 2010. That Leaf was a reason constructed dev from the very first moment, dissimilar to the vast majority of the opposition, which basically changed over existing gas autos to electric power with a specific end goal to meet California's draconian Zev order. That order appeared to have worked, as well, Nissan brings up that while there are 18 EVs available now, there will be 37 models by 2023. The future's going EVs, said Michael Arbuckle, senior administrator of EV advertising and deals procedure for Nissan. In case you're prepared to connect to that future, the Leaf could be precisely what you're searching for when it goes on special toward the finish of January. Beginning cost is $30,885, $690 not as much as the past model, with more substance, Nissan says. All models are estimated lower and have more substance than previously, so you can whine about sticker stun here. In the event that you need to gripe about range, at that point hold tight one more year, since Nissan said there will be a leaf one year from now that will have a 200 or more mile run. What's more, if that is as yet insufficient to persuade you, Nissan at any rate recommended the conceivable utilization of V2H, or vehicle to house. In the event that such a framework ever comes on the web, you'd have the capacity to utilize your auto as a battery to store vitality for use in your home. Amid half evenings when everyone's ventilation systems are on, you could be cheerfully murmuring endlessly controlling your family unit AC from your auto. At that point late during the evening, when rates are least, you can energize your leaf from the lattice. It's a cool thought and one I would be upbeat to experiment with as a beta analyzer. The thought beyond any doubt sounds productive, which, all things considered, is the thing that electric autos are about. On sale, January 2018. Base price, $30,885. Powertrain, 110 kilowatt AC synchronous electric engine, single speed reducer, FWD. Yield, 147 horsepower, 236 pounds to foot of torque. Control weight, 3,433 pounds, manufacturing. 0 to 60 miles per hour, around 8 seconds, a state. Efficiency, 124-101-112. EPA city slash highway slash combined. Watch fuel economy, 150 miles go. Professionals. 
better all around than the main Gen Leaf Ev. Cons, there are numerous great contenders now and numerous all the more coming.